I'm just going to do a top 10 face primers and just run through them briefly. In at number 10 is the, now there's two of these, just don't be mistaken with them. This one's the Becca, sorry, let's turn the volume down, sorry about that. Uh, in at number 10, in the top, t top 10 face primers is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And it's £32 in English money and $38 roughly. It goes on creamy, but it's not thick or silicony. It's silky smooth. It's got like a luxurious feeling to it. it. Gives the skin a pearlescent glow from within and it gives you the most beautiful luminosity. I like the matte finish primer. And this is perfect even for people who prefer a matte finish. And it makes you look healthy and glowy and dewy without looking oily or sweaty. <coughs> Excuse me. It's lightly scented. It smells almost like a lemony scent. It's not overbearing and it makes your foundation apply smoothly. It's especially great for dry skin, which is what I've got. And it's got high coverage and it blurs fine lines. It's radiant glow. It can be worn solo on its own or under foundation. And as the label states, this formula contains the brand's secret behind the iconic Becca Glow, infused with a trademark blend of crushed pearls, leaving behind an ultra luxe, ultra hydrated glow. Everything else just feels extra. In at number nine is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. It's £23 and in dollars it's about $30. It works best on dry skin or a combination of oily and dry skin. It helps hide your pores. It gives an amazing matte finish. This stuff is so silky. It's especially recommended for people with enlarged pores or pimples. Keeps your makeup looking fresh all day and night. It's flawless. Doesn't have a smell to it and nor does it feel greasy. It's a little bit, a little bit of this primer goes a long way and it isn't drying on the skin. It's super hydrating and nor does it irritate because I've got sensitive skin and this didn't cause me any issue or irritations whatsoever. And it makes your skin look smoother and healthier. It's got even coverage and it lasts all day. I think they do an oil free version too of this one but don't quote me on that. Next is in at number eight. Elf Cosmetics SPF 20 Face Primer. This is super cheap. It's £4.50 in English money and about $6. It's great for oily skin. It's nice smooth coverage. Super, super affordable. Fills your pores in and it's tacky. Perfect for your makeup to stick to. Lasting all day. It performs like a high-end primer, this one. And it's been compared to the Smashbox Primer. But it's not as good. It's got a soft silicon texture. And it's also smooth. It's hydrating and leaves your skin feeling soft keeping your skin moisturised as well but it's also got sun protection factor 20 it feels like weight on the skin makes your makeup last longer and not crease and it's also great for dry skin and combo in fact it's great for all skin types this one in at number seven is another becca this is the becca backlight filter face primer and it's 32 pounds or 38 dollars becca's also best known for for their glow highlighters and skin perfectors this is thick but not too thick and it blends out nicely and is super glowy and it also colour corrects in a way because it reduced the redness on my face. Once the foundation is applied after the primer you can still see that glow. It's got a nice luminescent glow to it and it comes in a glass bottle, it's got nice packaging and it's infused with three unique filters branded together in a lightweight whipped fluid that creates a smooth canvas and it acts like an instant filler and minimises the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I've got dry skin as I said and I don't think this one is suitable if you've got oily skin as you already have that glow but it's suitable for combination skin. In at number six is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer SPF 15 and this is the prices vary on this one between 20 to 96 pounds or between $19 and $75 depending on the size. A small 10ml bottle is £20 and the larger 60ml bottle is £96. It's got a silicony texture, it's suitable for all skin types this one. It's a matte primer, it conceals redness, it minimises the appearance of pores, wrinkles, fine lines and it also protects your skin with the SPF 15 sun protection. It repels water to keep your makeup looking fresh all day, gives you gorgeous flawless skin and the light formula isn't greasy, tacky or pearlized and it doesn't ball up. The unique, unique texture is fluid, airy, cushiony, silky and it's also safe for sensitive skin which I've got. Works with any cream, liquid, powder, foundation and it's a great all rounder primer. Although it's expensive this one is definitely worth it. 
In at number five in the top ten primers is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Uh, the travel size of it is thirteen pound, and you get fifteen mil. Well, so actually, it varies between thirteen and twenty six pound, and between sixteen and forty nine dollars. The travel size, as I said, is you get fifteen mil of it for thirteen pound, and the thirty mil, which is double the size, that's the normal size, that's twenty six pounds. So you don't save anything by getting the full size one. It's oil free, suitable for all skin types, a super weight, super lightweight clear gel primer in a tube that's water based and perfect for dry skin, oily skin, sensitive skin or combination skin and it's also great for acne prone skin. It creates a soft focus finish and it makes your makeup last all day this one. Smash, I, I personally love the Smashbox primer and it blurs your imperfections and it's a matte finish. I've tried this primer with different, various different foundations. And it really does work fantastic under all the different foundations that I tried with it. It's got vitamin C and peptide, I think, to protect your skin from stress, damage and pollutants. It's also cruelty free, this one. Another fantastic all-rounder. Next, in at number four, is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Portion. And this is £23 in English money or $31. It's silky and smooth. I love the texture of this one and a little bit goes a long way. Gives you a nice smooth all over even texture to the skin when you apply this one. And you can visibly see your pores smooth over when you put it on. It's also suitable for sensitive skin and acne prone skin. I love how this primer keeps my makeup in place all day. But Urban Decay are best known for, the, for doing the best primers and the best setting sprays. You can also use it on your eyes as an eyelid primer and if you want the colours of your eyes to look brighter and more vibrant then this is perfect for you and it gives skin like a healthy glow. It's good for all skin types again. I absolutely love this product and I swear by it. highly recommend it. Next in at number 3 is the Benefit Professional and it's £22 for 22ml or between $12 and $31. John Lewis actually do a limited edition value size of this. You get 44 mil of the product, 44 mils of the product for 36 pound, which is double the size of the regular sized one, which is 22 mils, and that costs 22 pound. So the John Lewis one is actually great value for money. So if you do love this product, I'd recommend getting the limited edition value size. Now everyone and their dog raves about this primer. It was my holy grail primer for a long time. The Benefit website actually do a travel size tube for £10.50 and for that you get 7.5ml of the product for your money. So I recommend this if you want to try this before splashing out on a full sized one. It's oil free, complements all skin tones, it helps your makeup stay put. It's lightweight balm, silky smooth, you can wear it alone or under your makeup. And it can be reapplied if your pores show later in the day. It's a translucent formula with a vitamin E derivative, which is known to protect skin from free radicals. It fills in your pores without clogging them. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It smooths out texture and is great for dry skin, oily skin and combo skin. However, after doing my research for those of you with acne prone skin, I wouldn't recommend it as it causes breakouts in some people with acne prone skin. It's slightly fragranced, but nothing too strong or overbearing, and it smooths lines. And that's my cat me on again. It smooths lines and wrinkles, and it's a silicone texture finish, and it's very matte. It also long lasting, extending the longevity of your makeup. It does what it says. I recommend it as I've repurchased this one a few times now. What? What? Sorry about that. He wants to paw next to me. What? I've got a like a knitted jumper on the side of the bed next to me and he wants to come over and paw and now he's purring right sorry about that in at number two is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer and this is £27 or between $15 and $32 a full size of it is 38g it's £27 in Debenhams department store and they also do a travel size this one gives skin a lovely dewy healthy looking finish it smooths and hydrates the skin, also brightens your skin. It's infused with coconut water and a probiotic based ingredient and skin reviver, which work together to boost your skin's radiance, promote elasticity, and helps hydrate while locking in your makeup for a fresher, long, flawless wear. So it does everything this. 
can be worn alone for a nice dewy finish or under your makeup. It's for foundations, powders and bronzers, creating the perfect canvas. Contains no parabens and it's also cruelty free. It's vegan friendly and silicone free. Your makeup looks more radiant and it's great for dry, dry skin, oily and combination skin. And the coconut water in it isn't overpowering. It's just a nice mild scent to it and it's very long lasting. Highly recommend this one. And lastly, the number one primer is MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Now, a uh, 30ml travel size of this is £10 and the 100ml normal size is £18. This is actually one of my favourites. I love how I can use it before and after doing my makeup. It makes my makeup look flawless and not cakey. It's a lightweight water mist that's packed with vitamins. It gently soothes the skin while refreshing your face and it finishes your makeup. It gives you an instant boost of hydration and it delivers a soft sheen to refresh and finish your makeup. You just hold the bottle 10 or 12 inches from your face and spray and it's got green tea chamomile and oh it's got cucumber in it as well it does smell amazing thanks for listening and if there's any more of these top 10 makeup products or beauty products or skincare that you want to see let me know in the comments below what's your favorite primer as well i'd be curious to know what everyone else's favorite is thanks bye